land, uh, displays, landscape displays, same size and form factor that are in the Global Express, and the right-hand side of the flight deck will have these two displays in a sense. Uh, these are the touchscreen flight displays we launched at Oshkosh this year, and that's part of the philosophy, uh, the head up and eyes forward philosophy that Colin mentioned. So we have uh, the system, and I don't have the HUD prototype here today, but uh, it comes with a head up display, optionally. It's touch screens themselves in order to keep the pilot's eyes on the PFD and the MFD, and they're not up through, looking through the HUD, are touchable, so you can do things like reconfigure the, the primary flight display, bring up other information. Just by touching on the screen using a point and click icon based interface. So you can drag and drop icons using simple gestures. If you want to put a map up here on that display, all head up, eyes forward. I'm just looking at the display, touching on it to uh, control the information that's there. So we've got head up, eyes forward philosophy. Another uh, important philosophy is information leveraging or information integration. So Rockwell Collins, Proline 21, Proline Fusion. Uh, regardless of the integrated avionics system, it's really important, we believe, to have the, all of the critical hazard information, flight information, simultaneously viewable to the pilot and minimize the workload and minimize the amount of head down time and avionics programming or operations. So we do things like display weather radar right on the HSI. Say there was a thunderstorm right there. Drew a proposed flight plan modification and the dotted line there. When I click execute as uh, pilots are used to fly with a true flight management system. The system's now going to fly that flight plan, and I made that turn right about in their present position, so it's already turning to, to follow that new path. So by touching on the screen, drawing a path around the storm, and then selecting execute, I've reprogrammed the flight management system. That's the simplest way to do it. Now, for uh, a couple of reasons, diversity in the pilot workforce and uh, in the lifestyles and preferences of owner operators as well as uh, turbulent conditions, we also have cursor control, physical cursor control devices. I saw some of you photographing a few minutes ago. So touch is always an optional shortcut. Uh, there are other ways to operate the system. You can use this device here, which is familiar from people in the automotive world. You've got a couple of concentric knobs. They click. It's, it's called a tab cursor. So it's moving the focus there. Just like I would if I was moving my finger around, it's moving the focus of, of the cursor from point to point, predefined places on the display. And I can also grab the whole thing. This device is, is like a hockey puck, if you think of it that way, and you can move the cursor around the map so I could accomplish that same flight plan edit using the cursor control device as well if you're flying around and having turbulence.